Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Welcome to our English class today. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Hi. Welcome. It's a pleasure. How are Good you? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good to see Good you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, teacher. What about you? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. You know, very, very excited to start our class this day. It's a great day for me. It has been great. I mean, a little busy, but, you know, very comfortable and relaxed. So, I mean, with this motivation, perhaps we can, you know, start a class this day. Uh, always, like, trying to take a short time for practice in the language. You know, as I, I, I was mentioning, like, there are different ways that we can also practice English. Not necessarily to be in a class, which is listening to music. I was watching a series, right, um, some minutes ago. I was watching a series, a very interesting series, and I was, like, trying to listen in English. And it was very interesting, but at the same time, was a good way to practice English. So it was not bad at all. So let's begin today with the class. So I just want to ask you, what do you remember we started yesterday? Who wants to help me? First, we start to talk about vocabulary, about um, about right. the holidays. The yeah. holidays, <laughs> thanks, Katia. Festivals, yes. Excellent. So the holidays. Thank you. That that was, that exactly. That was great. And what else do you remember? And we talk about uh, the meaning about the words. For example, uh, what kind of day we prefer? Or what kind does we have, have the favorite? For, for example, for me, it's Christmas. And what is the similar celebrate for your country? In the other countries. In the other country, uh huh. Uh, fantastic. That, that was great. Definitely, that we talked a little uh, bit about that. Yeah. I pay attention, teach. Of course. Yeah, that was great. I could see that. <laughs> so, congratulations for the work done. And Katya, too. Yeah, and also. You know, most of you, you know, we have been like practicing a lot. And that was actually important, especially because we love talking about celebrations. Everybody loves parties, celebrations, festivities. So it's part of that. We, most of the time, we enjoy some similar celebrations. And also we have some date off um, for, you know, some kind of celebrations in El Salvador. People don't go to work and they, they stay home celebrating with families for any special purpose. And uh, yeah, like like other countries, we have some specific celebrations too. Today we will have a short backup related to this exercise. And uh, we will talk about our personal celebrations, all Salvadoran celebrations, because we have also some celebrations that are not in other countries. It's exclusively for us. So we will talk a little bit about that. And that was uh, something very interesting about that. Well, let me show you the presentation for this class today. Most of you have it. And also because you have the manual, and uh, with the manual we can see what topics or exercises we will develop during this class, and also how we feel in this process. Don't forget to have the microphone off when you are not speaking or participating. Let's see here. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go with the first one: relative close of time. So we will uh, keep on breaking a lot about the relative closes of time. A, trying to explain uh, an activity or an special event. So we'll, we'll take part about that. Let's go with this one. And um, well, we'll talk about celebrations. We will keep on like working a little bit more about celebrations, some important vocabulary, some uh, special time that we take for celebrating. And um, we were we were like developing yesterday because at the time we couldn't like complete the exercise that we have right here. So we're talking about relative, relative closes of time. So we have some examples. Um, Halloween is a day when a kid in the United States um, dress up in masks and costumes. November 2nd is the day when Mexicans observe the date of the dead. 
and fall is the season for people in the United States and Canada celebrate Thanksgiving. So we were like um, developing some specific celebrations. So we were talking about that, right, guys? Well, let's see the next part. We were saying that um, how much do you know about the days and months? Complete the sentences the, with the statements we have right here in columns A with the information from column B. Then compare with the partner. So in that case, we're going to try to do it by ourselves and as a group. And so you can investigate or you check before as a homework and so you can uh, monitor this part of the statement here. And I want you to help me we go with the first one. Uh, look at this. New Year's Eve, Issa and I win. What possible answers we could have for this exercise? What do people do in the New Year's Eve? It's a celebration very common in different countries around the world. What people do at New Year's Eve is an I when? People like to party. Like to party. People like uh, to party. There is a possibility. Okay. Um, Okay, so let's see what happens. So we can change, don't worry about it. So if you if you say, you know, teacher, I think that we could change, we can change also. That is not a problem. So we can socialize this a lot. Um, look at this. Um, April Fool's Day is a day when... Teacher, what is people give to present to the one. They love... Teacher. What does it mean? D. D. Letter D. People play tricks on friends. Oh, tricks are tricks on friends. Okay. It's the April Fool, right? It's a very, very, very um, common celebration. So let's see what happened here. May Day is a day when. Letter if. F. 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 People F. in many countries honor F. workers. Uh, no, letter, letter F, people give letter present F. to the ones they love. That is the May day. No, letter E, people in many countries e. honor workers. No, 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 no. May, May day. day. No. <laughs> May day. May day is, people is ah, yes. honor workers. Yes. Yes. I confused the modern day. Okay, <laughs> okay, don't worry. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. No, that's okay. So you can um, socialize that. And then Valentine's Day is a day when people give present to the ones they love. Mm -hmm. They know. Do you celebrate some Valentine's Day? Almost people who they but this day is like <laughs> it's very commercial for me. It's that's it loses the meaning. It's like more commercial than I mean people yeah. sell. And also take advantage of all that. Uh, July 14 is a day when? Celebrate the revolution. Uh, the, the French celebrate the revolution. 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 French revolutions. They com uh, commemorate. So we could say that. Uh, February is the month when? Carnival. The famous carnival, yeah, they, they have a very special celebration. So the carnivals, they are very famous around the world because of how they develop things, the parades, and also the march, and a lot of things that they share in this uh, type of celebration. That's great. So thank you guys. Definitely, that is important to you know to think about some other celebrations that perhaps are not um, the celebrations, but we just know a little bit about them. Unless that we investigate the celebrations, but that's okay. Thank you. Let's continue with the rest of the activities. And also we learned a little bit about the previous celebrations in other countries. Okay, you can see in the previous exercise about the, the relative closest of time, we used um, the, the, the day or the celebration and also a, a short explanation about the celebration. And also we use the, the relative close uh, when? Look at example. Uh, February 14 is, so we have an idea. February 14 is 
And then we explain the day when, relative close, when people give cards mm -hmm. to the ones they love. Mm -hmm. Most of the time they do that on, on some Valentine's Day. It's a very special celebration. So that's cool. And New Year's Eve is a space, a night when I have fun with my friends. Alejandro. Yes, teacher, excuse me. What is the um, meaning exactly of uh, relative close? The relative close of time refers to a time, a date or moment previously mentioned. So it's, it's when we mention a, an activity, a celebration, a festivity, and we refer to the time they do it. For example, in the first statement, February 14th, we're talking about the date and we're talking about a time. And we explain about what happened in this day or what happened in that time. In that case, February 14th, what is that? Is a time and it's a day too. And we explain what happened with this. So the relative clauses of time are usually introduced by the bird to be. February 14 is. So that's the meaning about the relative closes of time. We mentioned a special time of celebration, a match with a time or, more, or date, and we explain what happened with this date. Is that okay? Okay. All right, thanks. Okay. Give so, information. Yeah, for, of course. So we give the information about the time, or we give the information about the date, related to a special celebration. New Year's Eve is what? What happened? It's a nine when I have fun with my friends. Okay, that is a, a very important celebration. New Year's Eve is a, is a nine when we have a party with the family or we have a special dinner or we have a special um, meeting. So we can talk about that. Now, complete the following dates or moment. Christmas. Um, Help me with that. Christmas is the day when, give me some ideas. Christmas is the day when, or is the night when? Christmas uh, is the day when I cook every kind of food. Oh, really? Interesting. <laughs> That's <Right>? interesting. Yeah, <laughs> of course, because she, can, she cooks that day, okay, in Christmas. Okay, somebody else, give me another idea. Christmas is the day Christmas when? The day when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. The Jesus Christ, okay. So Christmas is the day when people celebrate the, the, the birth of Jesus Christ. Excellent. What else? Give me another idea. The people celebrate uh, with fireworks. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. And the people re recite receive recite the receive. the hills at the midnight. Mm hmm. Okay. Christmas. Christmas is the commerce day. <laughs> okay. Okay, what else we could um, talk about Christmas? Christmas is a night when we receive to our families. We receive our, uh, to our families, okay. Christmas okay. is a day uh, when I gather with my family. Okay, that's important to, you know, have a time to be with your family. Definitely, it's important. Okay, that's, that makes sense to me. Um, what else? Christmas is a day or, or a season, teacher? Is, a, is what? It's a day or a season. It's a day. Christmas is a day. It's just yeah. one day. Remember that, that Christmas is uh, for Christians is related to an special celebration on, on 24th. And also yes. people called in Christmas. So why, why people say Merry Christmas in the old season? I mean, it's because it's related to the month. But for example, the second one is not Christmas. 
the third of, of December is not Christmas. So they relate the month, but the special date that Christians celebrate is 24th, or we could say 25th. Okay, thank you. It's sure. like more for tradition. So it, it's like, it's a little bit more for traditions. Okay. Thank you. All right. And what else you can uh, talk about that? Okay. What about the March 18? Uh, so, so we have another special date, um, the March 18. I don't know what is the, this. Well, in what, that case, in, which is um, the celebrate of March 18? On March 18 is the National Supreme Sacrifice Day. And honors to uh, those who have made tremendous sacrifices for the sake and the good of others as well uh, as those who sacrifice their lives every day for us. So special for people that we can call them heroes, people who make a, a tremendous sacrifice for helping or protecting other people. This is uh, called the March 18, that is uh, an special celebration. So they honor to, for example, soldiers, they talk, uh, for people like police officers, people who help other peoples in different ways. That's, that's why it's called the National Supreme Sacrifice Day. Okay. It's a celebration that we don't have right here. And um, at least in our country, we don't, we don't have it. And do you know about November 20th? Thanksgiving. Day. Aha. Uh -huh. Day. Yes. When, 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 Okay, so there are different there are different days. Like sometimes it's 24, 22nd, depending on the week, and for uh, Thanksgiving Day. But this is an special celebration. Definitely, that people love this kind of uh, celebration to so thank God for many blessings uh, or thanks life for everything that they have experienced during this year. So it's a very special celebration. Um, the Children's Day. It's a day when it's a day when this receiver celebration in school or, or the way announced. What do people so, celebrate? Okay, they celebrate the day when to kill the receiver celebration in the school. Okay, in the schools. The day of May, oh. I want to try to explain. Day is day. It's a day. Okay, so definitely that we can we can celebrate um, kids as most of the time it happen at schools because I mean, do you celebrate the the Children's Day to your kids, for example, or just at schools? Sure. Most, most, most of the time it happens at schools. How do you say reventar piñatas or revientan piñatas? Example, people say uh, piñatas. Uh, piñata, piñatas is, is, I mean, there's not a, an, an English equivalent, but you can say piñata, piñata, but they pronounce piñatas. They break. Y revienta. Break. 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 Oh, break. break. Ah, okay. Break. Break piñatas. When the children break piñatas, piñatas, piñatas. Piñatas. Yes. That's right. And when the, the children date, when the children play secret friends, something, some something, I don't know. Like they interchange present? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, what uh, about, yes? Uh, in the school of my children, yes. They do that? Yes. All right. Thank you. And what about the Mother's Day? It's the day when I celebrate my mother. <laughs> oh, to my mom. Okay. Yes. All the, all the all mothers in all the world. Ah, okay. That makes sense. It's around the world or just in El Salvador? I think around the world. Maybe around the world. That is okay. Exactly, because we don't we don't have a the date, of course, right here. 
So we can say mothers around the world. That's cool. And um, have you heard about the, the third Sunday of June? The Father's Day. Um, no. The, uh, okay, yeah. So what day is that? The Father's Day. It's 17, right? If I'm not wrong. 17. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah? Yeah, 17. Yeah, okay. So, okay. We celebrate. It's a day when we celebrate the Father's Day. Okay, that's interesting. So we could like talk a little bit about some celebrations. So that's what we call relative closes of time. So we combine on a specific date or on a specific time uh, with a specific celebration or with a specific situation. So in that case, we mentioned that the, the time or the date and also the explanation about what happened in that date. So that's what we call relative closes of time. Let's see the next one. And um, look at this one. Let's see, Boris Martin. Uh, Boris? Can you help me to read the information we have right here? This one. Okay, thanks. This, this are sentence from your book. Do you remember them? When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony in a train. After food is served, the guests get speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, they bride a groom, give them present. Okay, so look at examples here. Nadia? Peter, what is the mean shining and the word speeches? And you say trying? Hello? What is the, mean? the meaning? Shining. Yeah. What is the meaning? Oh, uh, you say the shining. Trying. shrine. This one? Yes. Oh, shrine is, is similar to sanctuary. So another is, meaning is sanctuary. Or is also, we could say that in Spanish, like santuario or capilla. It's a place regarded as holy because of its association with uh, sacred uh, divinity or something religious like God, that's like a shrine. So, but also for Catholic, for Christians, so we can call capillas. In Japan, they are called sanctuaries. Okay, so you can see this one. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Read the sentences and match the two columns. So I want you to read them and also match the statements with the ones we have here. So I will give you some time to do that. Meanwhile, we will take advantage about checking the attendance list. So you listen to your name and you say present. So I will give you uh, some minutes to associate the two columns with the goal to have one specific statement. Can you buy me carton oranges? She takes shoes, turn on lights, they all work. Okay, so meanwhile you work in this, I will I will mention your name and you say present. So just give me one second, please.
Okay, uh, help me with the letter A. What, what do you think would be the possible answers for the letter A? Number five, teacher. Can you buy me a carton of orange juice when you go when shopping, shopping, please? All right, okay, okay. that makes sense. Uh, we can use it. Okay, uh, letter B. Number four, teacher. Number four. Number four. Number four. After she grabs. After, after he grabs up. Get up. Four, yes. Thank you, guys. So after he gets up, okay. And what about the letter C? Number we'll six. Go a party. We'll go to a party. We take a gift with us. We take a gift with us. Number six. Number six. They can give you drugs with us. Okay. All right, the, uh, that makes sense. Okay, what about the next one, the letter D? No, number two, two, the two, light two, off. Turn light off. Turn off. Turn the light off. Okay, letter E. Number three. Number three. They always do the homework. Yeah. Homework. They always do the homework. Letter F. Number one. Number one. She gets her she shoes. Gets off her shoes. Her shoes. shoes. And the last one. Number seven. Before you go out. Please. Number seven. That's right. So we can also uh, make two statements in one. So we have the two contexts, but at the same time, we match the two statements to make just one. And that is great because you could uh, associate the two actions in, all, in order to make one statement. And that's great because we understand the context, we understand the vocabulary, and also that makes sense. Okay, thank you guys. Great job for this one. We go on to the next exercise right away. Uh, okay, for the following exercise, it's something that we will do um, online, so we don't have to well, show it here. So I'm just going to share a link right now. And I want you to do it. In this chat, in this Zoom chat, I will share a link. And also what I want you to do is to work in this exercise. When you finish the exercise, you will use the chat and you will write the word done. When you have completed the exercise because it's very short. And also it's pretty easy because it's multiple choice. You see the statement, you had to complete the statements using a, a possible answer. So um, here, I'm sharing the link. You open it and you do the exercise. So can you see the link? Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. So I will. Give yes, you... I do. Thank you. I will. I will give you some time to work in the exercise. And when you finish, please write the the word done. So that's mean that I will understand that you have finished the, the exercise. Okay. Let's start. I don't know what is the meaning of that. Pickpocket. Pickpocket. Small space. Uh, thank you, Jaime. He's, he has finished. What, I'm sorry, what, you had a question? Excellent. Some students have finished. Great job. Thank you, Andrea. How can I, how can I do to send you, teacher? It's practical. So you just do it and also you have a feedback. So that's why it's, it won't be necessary to send it because uh, at the end you submit it and also you can see your results. Can you, can you see my results? Yes. It's practice. I just have to. Just, just do it. It's just a practice. Okay. It's not graded, so it won't be graded. Okay. And also the, the, the goal of this exercise is that you can see your answers and you can see the correct answers in the case that there is a, an answer that is grown so you can see the real one.
teacher, we finish and then. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Also, I could see that some of you share the, 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 the answers in the chat, in the WhatsApp group. So that's great. So we can also check the vocabulary. Thank you guys. I could see Ryan and also there are two other phone numbers too. I don't have the names, but thank you. It's, it's a little bit more practice. And also, sure. I'm glad that you shared that. Okay. Well, we can. Yes, sure. Hello. Um, I have a question. Uh, yeah. which, which word is used, used most often to tell about a man that were in construction? Uh, the word brick layer or construction worker? Brick, brick layer, that depends. Layer. Because depending. In the United States, we can be used both. Remember that they are synonyms. So construction worker, brick layers uh, have similar meanings. So both can be used, are synonyms. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I think that brick layer is a specific uh, job. It is, it's people who put the drywall, right? No. Uh, brick, brick yes, layer. maybe construction worker is more general yeah of course because a brick layer is a person whose job is to build walls houses or other structures with bricks that's why <laughs> they are called brick because the, this person works with walls houses or other structures specifically with bricks that's why we call a brick layer um construction worker could be do, could be doing some other things beyond that <laughs> building houses walls or some other things streets on also some uh, sidewalks payments some other things that they can do okay okay all right thank you guys for working in this exercise we will continue with the rest of this one and in that case we will use the chat to share some valuable information we have right here together it says complete the following exercise completed sentences with information of your own then compare with a partner. In that case, because of the time, you will try to use the chat, this personal chat we have here in Zoom, and you will complete the statement. For example, you say, in winter is a season when, and you write your own answer. And we will be reading here in the chat. The spring is a time of the year when, and you can give a description. Of course, we don't have spring because we have just two seasons in El Salvador. Aquí solo tenemos dos estaciones del año. En otros países, como en Europa y parte de, de América del Norte, pues están las cuatro estaciones. Pero Spring, la primavera es el tiempo del año en, en el cual, y este da una explicación. Uh, a birthday is a day when, you give a, an, an answer, and a wedding anniversary is a time. So please um, respond these questions in the chat. So all of us, in this chat, of course. So all of us, we can read your answers. In that case, there is something that is uh, misspelling or not as fractured, so we can double check the statements here. Okay, meanwhile, you do that, we will check the attendance list. Well, is that clear what we had to do? Yes, no, yeah. Is it okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Is it complete, complete the sentence? Yes, and we will share this the statements in this Zoom chat. In the chat, okay. Yes. What it says here, okay, let's go. Okay, let's see here. Um, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Alejandro. Present teacher, excuse thank me. You. <laughs> thank you, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thanks. Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present teacher. Um, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Boris Martin Salinas. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernandez. Brian Isaac. Carlos Jose Asensio. 
in attendance. I'm sorry? Present teacher. Uh, Carlos. Denis Isaac Gomez. Denis Isaac Gomez. Teacher Brian Isaac say present in the chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. So perhaps he, he cannot use the microphone. Um, then, then and Carlos he... Martinez. Okay. Uh, Denis Isaac Gomez. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez. Present. Uh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Uh, Daisy. Um, y Dina Elizabeth Flores está. Present, Tisha. Thanks. Elba Carolina Vázquez. Present teacher. Erika Maydell Anton, Antonio Flores. Present teacher. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. It is Regina Hernández Cuella. Is here teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jaime Orlando Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth uh, Santillana Cortez. Present teacher. Eh, Jessica Janet Sánchez Valencia. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Katia Graciela Juan de Canray. Present teacher. Um, María Lucila Soto Ponce. Present teacher. Eh, Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Eh, Nadia Isolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Eh, Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Cruz Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez Silva. Ricardo de Jesús. Eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán Cubías. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Vidal Evelio Mejía García. Vidal Evelio. Eh, Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Present teacher. Thanks. Thank you guys. Well, so most of us were here, so that's an advantage. Well, let's continue with the exercises. So we, we can see some answers. Thank you, guys. Um, spring is the time of the year when there are many flowers. Of course, I love that. Um, a birthday is a day when people receive envelope with money. Okay. Mother's Day is a day when to celebrate to our moms. A birthday is a day when we celebrate the date when we born. When you born. A wedding anniversary is a time when we, when we celebrate Let's see, well, there are some others. Winter is a season when that comes about December and February, the seasons, special months. A birthday is a celebration or it's or is celebrated when people give many gifts. It's a celebration when people give many gifts. So, it's, so we will say celebration. Instead of celebrate, could be celebration. A birthday is a day when we celebrate the date when we born. A wedding anniversary is a time when we celebrate the date when we get married. The spring is the season when plants bloom. Winter is the time when it rains a lot. It rains a lot. The spring is the time of the year when we can see pretty much flowers. Um, many many, many flowers. Winter is the season when, um, when, when it's cold and it's very beautiful. When it's cold, when it's cold. So we could change that. 
winter is the season when the, the climbs, the, the weather, so we can see the weather is very chilly. Okay. So we could say the weather. Look at that. Okay, so we could see some statements of some special time we celebrate. Definitely, that is very, very important, right? To think about some special celebrations. So definitely, we love that. Teacher. Right. Hi. Teacher, could, could you help me to to the exam in, in 3.6? It's a listening, but I don't understand about the when is the carnival in Rio. I I I am is late to February or early March. It's, it's, a, it's a, I'm sorry. It's an exercise in the platform. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you can chat uh, privately and also with the with the request, and I will check that. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. All right. Thank you. Okay, so the Mother Day is a day when we, teacher, don't, we don't let... Teacher, hi. Uh, uh, I think uh, you, don't, you don't hear me, uh, but I'm here. I, I have no signal uh, present. Um, Dennis Gomez. Yes. Let me double check right now. Uh, what is your... Uh, Gomez... Um... Ah, the first one. Yeah, so we couldn't. Okay, it's updated. All right, thanks. Yeah, it's updated, Mr. Gomez. Okay, so let's check the next exercise. Thank you. I'm actually uh, watching some statements here. And we have the next activity that we will take uh, some minutes to socialize before we conclude this class. It's going to be pretty easy. Look at this one. Let's talk. It's on the speaking time. In pairs or in small groups, take turns asking and answering these questions and others of your own. Look at that one. What is the most interesting holiday or festival in your country? In that case, we will um, socialize about one specific thing <laughs> here that we have in the country. So, but not in other countries, just in El Salvador. And when is it? So you had to say the date of this celebration from a sobler of course. How do people celebrate it? What do people do to celebrate this? Um, do you eat any special food or you can eat whatever you want or you can eat general food? Um, what do you like most about it? So I like because we have a date off or because many people have parties or they go with the families and they have some special moment together, religious moment. So you, you have to socialize about the celebration. What else do people do? What do people do? They, they dance, they, they get some food, they walk, they visit the, the city. So you had to think about one celebration um, that is a holiday that is very, very famous in El Salvador, not in other countries. So this activity will be spontaneous. So some of you um, in the groups, you will start talking. Okay, hello. No, I will talk about the Holy, the, the Holy Week in El Salvador. The Holy Week is celebrated this time, this time. So it most of the time is between March and February and March, but most of the time March or April. So you can switch and people celebrate the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. And um, there is not a special food. People, they can eat fish or they can eat whatever they want. And what do you like about it is because we have a date off and also we have different religious activities that encourage us to be in contact with God. And what else do people do? They go to uh, some special meetings. They go to the mass. They go to some kind of parades, etc. So you can talk about one celebration in Salvador. Okay, for this, as I told you, it's gonna be a little bit spontaneous because of the time. So you can talk about one celebration and you can like socialize uh, about the celebration. That's what we had to do. So for that time, and we will work in breakup rooms 
and you can talk about this holiday in El Salvador. Do you have one celebration in mind? Give me some ideas about some holidays in El Salvador, some celebrations in El Salvador. Uh, Semana Santa. Okay. Teacher, uh, ¿cómo se dice el Día de la Cruz? The Cross Day. Do you know, do you know that is a story bit, uh, under, no, back, atrás? The time ago. There is the a past. story from, from the past. From the past, yes, about the, the, the day of the, the, the cross. Okay, so also yes. you can, yeah, that, that's okay. So when, they, when, when, when I speak very well in English, I, I will uh, tell you of the story. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> oh, don't, don't worry, Alejandro. Very, <laughs> very soon, Alejandro, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm very sure. Okay, guys, we will work in the small groups. We will have a short time to talk about some celebrations. And the, the, the purpose is speaking, okay? So we'll have uh, five minutes to do that. So get ready to, to be in the groups and then we will come back to the last part of the class. Let's go and speak English. Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. The people celebrate with how do how do you people celebrate? Mm, the people celebrate um, Mother with, with the um, Semana Santa. No? My solution. Holy week. Hello. Uh -huh. uh, in August, is uh, five and six. Or oh, depended. Uh, or oh, depended. The I don't know this, the department. Department. The fiestas julias. In. Parque. Santana. Santana City. Santana City. Yeah. Yes. In San Salvador, uh, they celebrate. Uh, in Mont August. Vacaciones Agustina. Yeah. Yeah. of the world. No. Mm -hmm. In the, in the other de departamento, example, uh, uh, farolitos. And, uh, mm. uh, Agua Chapan City. Mm -hmm. Agua Chapan City. The, the San Miguel Carnival. Ah, the San yeah. 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 It's in this month, uh, November. November, yeah. You see, you see the... How do, how the do people moment. celebrate it? How, how do people celebrate it? The carnivals? The San Miguel Carnival? The people, the people go out, uh, to have fun, dancing, eat full, uh, junk, junk, food, junk, junk food like uh, fries or papas fritas, 
eh, pues Crazy, Percy Corn, eh, Elote es Coco, el, el, Elote es Loco. Elote loco. <risa> eh, o Different 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 the orchestras uh, like Los Hermanos Flores and, and dance yeah. with the Herma Los Hermanos Flores. Celebrate in honor um, Virgin Reina de la Paz. Okay. Uh, yeah, Reina de la Paz. A religious celebration. Queen, Queen of the Peace. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you eat who are who are from 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 San Miguel? Oh, yes, people people with uh, with your no, their uh, communities, communities, amenities. Uh, send yes, send send her sons to study in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. So I know okay. him about that, and, and and by that I know about the the the, the carnival. But I never, nunca he estado. I okay. never have been. There. I have Me never too. been. I have never been there, yes. <laughs> Hello, teacher. <laughs> I have never been there. Yes. Uh, you, Erica, you remember the holiday? Yes, I remember the uh, October 1st, uh, Children's Day. Teacher, sorry, but my group, they are very mudos. They are mute. They are mute. They're, yes. They didn't talk. Yes. Teacher, you were teacher of my husband. Ever can, right? I don't know. Do you remember? In the previous levels? In the levels, I don't know, but the two all were received him and the next the next class oh no oh ee. time ago time ago yes oh wow interesting oh i didn't know say hello to him please <laughs> okay thank you well okay. um well it's a pleasure so well guys well we are about to finish the class you know the time has gone so fast but we will continue tomorrow socializing a little bit more uh, about different topics in English and what I really love about all of us is that we have the opportunity to speak English and communicating actively. So I'm very happy to listen to all of you speaking in English. You sounds very, very natural, very, very great. And that's one of the ways that we had to speak and produce the language the best we can. So don't stop, work so hard. And also I can see a very huge improvement with the language. That's one of the ways. I mean, you're in the right path, in the right way to maximize your English skills. So thank you guys. Have a beautiful uh, night to all of you. And I hope to see you the next class. Enjoy your night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Vidal Mejía le puso que tuvo problemas con el micrófono, pero que ahí estaba. Okay. Ahí lo puso en el chat. Thank you. Thank you, Iris. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.